This is a Windows Phone 7 game review of The Impossible Game, which is available in the marketplace for 99 cents. The Impossible Game is a decently well-known game from the iPhone App Store and also from the Xbox Live Indie Game Store. And so what you do is you have to play through these two different levels and it's basically made so it's really impossible. All you do is you just tap the screen to make your cube jump or you can hold it and it'll keep on jumping. And every time you lose, you have to start from the beginning, unless you use practice mode, and then you place a flag somewhere. Like, once I get past this part, I can place a flag, and then I'll start there. So, there we go. But then, in practice mode, you won't win as many medals. You can still win some medals, though. But the game is ridiculously tough, and beating it all the way through, since it's such a long game that could take forever it take extreme skill and you just have to basically memorize the course and know when to do things as you go the course gets a lot tougher there's also another course you can play through the xbox live indie game level here so there's two different levels total but that's all there is so once you beat those two levels, then there's not really much else to do. But the important thing to remember is that those two levels are practically impossible to beat. Sure, you can beat it in practice mode if you place the flags and then you'll always have checkpoints to go back to. But if you can actually beat it in one whole sitting without using any flags, that could take a long time and that's a true achievement. Although I feel like it's almost completely impossible. So it's a great game, but the lasting value is kind of limited just because there's only two levels. And honestly, once if you actually try to like beat it through without using the practice mode, you'll probably just become so frustrated that you won't even really be playing it through. Beating the game in practice mode will take you about probably 20 minutes to beat both levels. So, like I said, that's not that long. And the game's lasting value basically depends on your ability to actually beat the game in normal mode without using the flags. So it's a cool idea, but it could definitely use more levels to play through. However, the game does have some cool medals that give you incentive to play through the entire game. Like, 500 attempts without quitting, and finish level 1 in practice mode, or finish it with no flags, so that's if you do it without practice mode, and those are really tough to get. So that kind of gives you incentive to play through it, but there's also the stats, which kind of tell you some stuff and keep you playing. No flags progress, as you see I got 26% across that course. So it gives you a good idea, but I just feel like the whole game, if the levels were maybe, like, I don't know, one minute to get across, then it'd be more achievable and more satisfying to play. So they could have shorter levels, but have more levels, instead of having one that goes on for probably, like, I don't know how long it is to get through the entire level without failing. It's probably close to three minutes. And so that's almost quite impossible and becomes really frustrating. Of course, that's the point of the game. It's called the impossible game. But nevertheless, it could be more fun. But the visuals are really great and the sounds, the music is really great. So it is a good game. And you can download the trial and I'll give you a taste of how the gameplay works. If you want the full game, it's only 99 cents and... It's not too bad of a deal. If you're interested in playing the Impossible game, you can find it in the Marketplace for 99 cents. Subscribe to WM Power users to catch all the latest reviews.